This short, skinny boy, he's incredibly popular. A sexy girl came up and hugged him. She said she couldn't sleep without him and asked him to come to her more often. Then when she asked for a kiss, he sent her away perfunctorily. The boys were shocked, and they all looked at him approvingly. Not long after, a hot girl approached him for a chat. She said the school had lost its leader since he left. The boys kept bragging, but the hottie said she didn't deserve him at all. Then she turned around and left, crying. Everyone's frozen, and that's not all. And then the third girl came on the scene. She was looking for Viola like crazy. She kept pestering Viola. Viola went straight for the jugular. She said she broke up with her in public. It told the beauty to stop pestering him. Viola became famous when he said that. The boys idolize him. His legend is spreading all over the school. And people are always asking him for his love by him. But suddenly Viola, cell phone rang. He explained that it was his ex-girlfriend's ringtone. But what people don't know is that Viola is a real girl. A few days ago, she was the captain of the girls' team. When she went to rehearsal, she learned that her team had been disbanded. The coach said the team was going to play against other schools. He's going to focus on the boys' soccer team. He's disbanding the girls' soccer team. And Viola said she could join the boys at practice. That coach laughed at her. She came home depressed. But she saw her brother packing. He's skipping school to go to London for two weeks to do music. He asked his sister to find a way to help him out. And that's when it hit Viola. She and her brother looked very much alike. She could join their school team. She went out and beat her own school team. So she found her friend Tony, and he gave her a customized look. And she went out on the street every day to learn about men's behavior. After she's prepared, Viola goes to her brother's school. When she entered her dorm room, her roommates laughed at her. They told her she was short and that she was behaving strangely. They thought Viola was a free. At night, they attacked her. She did think she could stay there any longer. She turned to the almighty Tony. Tony said the best thing to do was for her to show her manhood. Then he arranged for some beautiful women to court Viola. And I have to say, it worked like a charm. Viola earned everyone's respect. That day, his roommate Duke asked him for a favor. He had a crush on a schoolgirl, but was too scared to make the first move. So he asked Viola to help him out. In exchange, he taught Viola soccer and take him to the varsity soccer team to play in the school soccer tournament. Viola agreed to do it without saying a word. This boy went to the bathroom and came out. Out. She turns into a beautiful woman with long hair and a red dress, and then she's kissing a guy. She was enjoying herself, and at night she's back to being a tomboy. And he acted like he didn't know anything about it. She asked her roommate to what happened. He said he kissed a girl, but he didn't even know who she was. Viola revealed that the girl was her sister. She had a crush on Duke. He told him to be brave and go after her. But Duke was always obsessed with the schoolgirl. He trained Viola in soccer. He asked her for advice, but he didn't know that his best roommate, since they've been training closely together and in the same dorm room, after they spend a few days together, Viola has fallen in love with Duke. That day at the gym, Viola was trying to convince him to go out with her sister, but then the schoolgirl barged in. She kept hitting on Duke. He was mesmerized by the beauty. He couldn't listen to anything Viola had to say anymore. So she went to the schoolgirl and complained. She said she didn't think much of them at all. She didn't think they were a good match. The schoolgirl thought Viola was jealous. So she shows her a lot of love in front of her. Viola went all girly and sneaky. She told the schoolgirl that Duke had bad breath. And she hypocritically said she wished them happiness. But the schoolgirl looked disgusted and said that Duke was a fool. She's not going to be with him at all. Turns out it was Viola she was into all along. She dated Duke to her arouse her jealousy. She wanted Viola to like her, and then she blew him a rainbow bar. Now it's a very subtle scenario. It was more than Viola could understand. As soon as the schoolgirl saw Viola the next day, the next day, as soon as the schoolgirl saw Viola, she ran right up to him and showed him what she was made of. When she left, Viola's brother was dumbfounded. He got a great deal for nothing, so he decided to go back to school the next day. This boy was suspected by everyone to be a girl. To prove his innocence, he took off his pants. The audience she said it was so strange. She took another look after the drama. The game continues. Viola, who has always been an amazing player, who made a lot of mistakes in this game and couldn't catch up with the score. The goat sent him off. Then his sister grabbed him. She said, take off your jersey. She wanted to save the game right away. It turns out that a few weeks ago, Viola disguised herself as a boy to replace her true brother, and she joined the soccer team. She wanted to get back at her school's team and prove to them that girls can play better than boys. After all the intense training she's been doing these days, she was well prepared. She changed her clothes and went to the coach. She said she was out of shape and asked to play again. The coach agreed. Viola shows her professionalism when she plays. She's not only 
only skillful, she's also good at playing together. She scored a goal, but Duke sees the schoolgirl kissing his brother. He thought he was being played, so he purposely didn't pass the ball to Viola on the court. So he purposely didn't pass the ball to Viola on the field, which led to the score being tied at one, and the schoolgirl ran onto the field from the lounge. She wanted to confirm her relationship with him. Viola didn't want to hide it anymore. She decided to tell the truth. She took off her wig and told everyone she was a girl. She explains all the misunderstandings. And the coach at her school laughed at her. He said that a team with a girl only wouldn't win the game. This offended everyone. In order to fight for her honor, the coaches put Viola back on the field again. She may look weak, but she's more powerful than any of the boys on the court. A sudden foul by her opponent, Viola has a chance to shoot a free throw. It's a game-winning chance. Shot. She doesn't panic in the face of her rival's constant provocation. She pretends to let the ball be caught by the goalie, then waits for Duke to return the ball before she kicks it into the goal. Viola won the game and impressed her. They became a school soccer couple. Viola had the courage and perseverance to play soccer, and everyone proved as a girl, she can play soccer well. This is the end of the movie. Thanks for watching. See you next time.